Hello everyone, thanks for coming out Cyber today. Very exciting day here in the Average Jack Archery Home Shop. We have a brand new bow right here on the workbench. We have an Athens Vista 35, and it's gonna be my personal bow for 2022. All I've done here so far is cut the tape. The hat came separately. I haven't even looked at the bow yet, so I have no idea what I'm getting into here. I know the color scheme, uh, and I know, of course, the poundage and the draw length that I want it to be set at, but outside of that, I have not seen this bow. So let's pull it out of the box and let's get a first impressions here. I'm pretty excited. This bow looks half as good as I think it's going to look. I think we're gonna be in really good shape. <laughs> First impressions, wrapped in plastic. So as somebody who works in a bow shop, uh, this is really exceptional packaging. Uh, most bows just come in a plastic bag in the box. Here we have what looks to be some type of uh, bubble wrap, adhesive bubble wrap. That's really clean. Oh boy, let's get, let's get this bad boy opened up here. Save the manual here, we'll take a look at that. That looks fantastic save bubble wrap for later if you ever get adhesive bubble wrap and actually if you ever buy a bow ask to keep the box and all the other stuff so that way if you ever sell it to somebody you can buy it from a local shop most of the time the boxes and stuff gets recycled anyway ask to save all of this stuff because you ever sell it it's just a really nice professional look to give somebody a bow that you know is nice nicely packed up mighty nice looking bow oh so it's big right <laughs> 35 inches axle to axle here for the athens vista 35 Whole bunch of cool specs to look at over with this bow but this here i have a 60 pound bow this is in the green beret i think it was a new color for them back in 2021 and then we have uh, the kuyu verde and it looks fantastic i love the um decal for athens those beautiful two a's the red white and blue of the american flag i think gives a nice little pop to this limb color the green is fantastic. It almost has a little bit of a light texture to it, which is really unique. I'm actually going to take my wedding band off so I'm not sitting here clanking it on the riser. Just a really, really clean looking bow. Just just look at the, just, just nice beautiful line to it. Big long riser. We are 35 on the button. Uh, so that's really nice. Uh, should be a six and a half inch brace height, I believe and it is six and a half on the button. So that's really good. I've already unboxed and looked at the Vista 31. I'll put that video somewhere on the screen and down in the description below if you're interested in looking at that. If you're a shorter draw archer or just want a shorter axle to axle bow in general. And I give props to Athens for their manual. Their manual covers a lot of stuff and it just, you bought a bow from Athens, congratulations. Call us if you have a problem. The Athens RTX cam has a, not only a rotating module, but it also has a rotating uh, let off setting. So it comes at 90% from the factory and Athens tells you explicitly that is the measured draw length. So when I put this onto the draw board, it should be bang on 31 inches, maybe an eighth inch long, quarter inch long at the most. Uh, and then if I go to 85 and decrease the let off, it'll decrease my draw length by about an eighth of an inch. And then if I go to the 80% let off, which is what I'm going to do, uh, that's kind of my preferred let off feel, it's going to shrink me about a quarter of an inch. So that's nice that that's just clearly played out here. A lot of bows, I've seen bows come in, uh, shoot up to three eighths to half inch long from every different manufacturer. So it'll be nice um, to hopefully have that be the same. The 31 was bang on with its draw length, so that was really nice. Cam timing chart is all right here. How to adjust your draw length on the RTX cam. And then each bow is in here. So the 31, the 33, the 35, and then the Peak 38, which is their target bow. All are running the RTX cam. Although based on the geometry of the limbs and the riser, it does change the draw length. So the 31 actually doesn't go out to my 31 inch draw length, ironically. Um, so it only goes out to 30 and a half. The 33 will go out to 31 inches. Uh, and then the 35 here, which of course is what we have, goes from 31 and a half, just gonna read off the cheat sheet, to 28 inches on mod one. And then mod two is 27 and a half down to 25 and a half. So even you ladies, if you want to shoot a 35 inch axle to axle bow, Athens makes the module for you. It's just two different modules, size one, size two. The cam does not change. You do not need a bow press to change any of it. You don't need a bow press to adjust the let off. Everything's right on the cam. Having a nice big fat, um, just kind of uh, off the cuff, nice big uh, wide uh, ends to the modules with that rotating module and the adjustable let off. Um, just gives you a much firmer back wall. So this is claimed 4.4 pounds here. And uh, I'm just going to lift this just off the table, just like so. 
and again, it is bang on 4.4 pounds. There you go. Picture with the cell phone. We'll throw that up on the screen. And it definitely has an excellent feel and an excellent balance too. This is right out of the box. Now I said this about the 31 too. I'm going to have to duck down a little bit more to get it on screen. This is just held with uh, part of the inside of the web of my hand and my thumb. I mean, look at this. That is a 35 inch axle to axle, nearly a four and a half pound bow. And it balances. It just spins. It just sits like a top. There's a lot of bows in the market that don't balance like that. That costs even more than this bow. I mean, that's really nice. That's great for a target bow setup, for a hunting bow setup. It doesn't feel top heavy at all. It doesn't feel like it wants to fall forward. If it shoots anything like the 31 in terms of the vibration and the dead in the hand and the lack of jump forward, you throw a stabilizer and a sight and a rest on this thing, it's going to be an absolute dream to shoot. A couple other nice features on the bow that I just really enjoy. You do have two uh, burger button holes here to mount your rest to the bow. That just gives you a nice clean 90 degree angle flush to the back of the riser. Just makes tuning a little bit simpler in the long run. You have to worry about doing a set screw either, which puts a nice silver uh, ding into your riser. So really nice that's there. You have a roller guard now from Athens, which they always ran a fixed uh, slide system uh, for 2021. They have, or 22, excuse me, they have gone to a roller guard system and it is adjustable in and out for fletching clearance. On the back side of the riser, we do have two mounting locations, which is nice. You get that out of a longer riser. The 31 only has one, but that's just, it's a short riser. There's only so much a real estate that you can do to put in the drill and tap locations. Of course, you have the front stabilizer mount. Uh, limb saver string stop, so that's really nice. Limb saver's been deadening strings for quite some time. Uh, and it is uh, machined on this side of the riser if you want to have a two-piece quiver. I usually just run a one-piece, but that, if you're up to that, you can. Oh, one last thing I completely forgot to mention as I'm looking here at the speed knocks and the shrink tubing. Uh, all Athens bows come with gas bow strings, which if you have your ear to the ground when it comes to string builders that are in the industry, gas is by far one of the better ones that come as a mass-produced string company. I forget the specific name of these things, but they do come with the internal limb dampeners. They look really clean. Some of the Athens bows in the past had like a big chunk that came out the bottom. I didn't think it was the most aesthetically pleasing. These look really stream uh, lined and slim. Just really, like I said, lends to the overall feel of the bow. I really like to have an aesthetically pleasing bow. Like if I'm going to shoot a bow, I want it to look good. You know, I'm, I'm a fan of the, the big wide cutouts in the riser. I don't like the checkerboard waffle grid kind of look. Just as a really nice, clean aesthetically pleasing bow and if it shoots as half as good as it looks we'll be in business all right so let's check this bow out so again we have a 60 pound bow uh set to 31 inches of draw length and the draw length i have moved it to the 80 percent let off uh which is really nice i'm getting about 11 pounds of holding weight which is really good i'll take that for uh, you know basically being at the end of the cam most cams for any manufacturer are not really optimized after about 30 and a half although that's uh, pretty solid for being a 31 inch draw length I'm going to shoot this with a couple different arrow weights, uh, not for speed. There is no chrono downrange, um, but it's just to get a feel for the bow. Uh, the grip is identical to the 31. I'm going to draw it a little bit on the low side, not my usual draw here. Very linear. Here's the back wall. Oh, that is quite nice for a back wall. That 80% let off really helps with firming up the back wall because you're holding a little bit more. See how it is to come off? I can feel it starting to go. Yeah, there it starts to go. Oh, that is nice. That is very nice. That comes off the back wall very smoothly. So let's uh, kind of draw this more the way I would normally draw. I'm kind of slowing up here to kind of see how that breaks over. That's not a hump. Like, that's a very smooth... Tra I'm trying to smoothly let this down. That's a very smooth transition, right? So if I go to draw this normally... Yeah, I, I know it It probably looks like I'm hitting a hump, but I don't feel a hump. There's no dump in there. Just like with a 31, there's no dump into the uh, back wall. Like right there, that's pretty good. All right, I'm going to take this shot. Feels really comfortable. That drawing feels like it's perfectly nailed. Oh, I love the string angle. Look at that. Look at that. That's a 35 inch axle to axle bow, 4.4 pounds, nothing. Just a little, just like a, hmm, it's like, just looking for that perfect A, <laughs> 440 hertz. Don't mind at all because that is very easy to rectify. And it's not even a problem. Like I, I'm deliberately looking for it, right? That was a 424 grain 
uh, gold tip cut down, which is basically just a Hunter XD Hunter style. That's a very typical air buff. If you put any more weight, this is a 473 Victory V Force. Oh, just, it's just a lovely, and that comes off so well. Very smooth. Definitely not a speed bow by any stretch of the imagination, which is what I prefer. Like a nice flat back. It's, it's like a target bow. It, it feels like a target bow. It was very smooth. It's meant to shoot lighter weight arrows like you could, you know, out of a target bow. I know they make the Peak 38, but this 35 just feels great. Yeah. And that's very solid for a, for a cable stop bow there on the back end. All right, so let's shoot some uh, real beef out of this thing. This is a 642 grain, uh, 2315 aluminum. Uh, let's see how this comes out of this bow. Yeah, it just, it just has a real nice linear draw cycle to it. <laughs> oh, you probably heard how quiet that was, the difference. This is, uh, this is my standard hunting arrow. This is a Sirius Supernova, 300 spine, uh, 400 and uh, about 70 grains. Yeah. Tell you what, Athens has an absolute shooter of a bow. <laughs> There's nothing more to say. It's just a dang good shooting bow. All right, so it's been a little bit over a week since I shot that first impressions video. I've been shooting this bow a ton, really enjoying the Vista 35. I really do think Athens has absolutely hit it out of the park with this crossover style bow. I think the 31 is a great all-around hunting bow with that shorter axle to axle. But I think the 35 here for long draw guys like me in that 31 inch range, as well as those just want a good crossover bow to do the indoor scene if they want 3D and definitely hunting. I think this is really a slam dunk in all of those categories. Some things I've done to the bow in the past week since you've last seen it. I've stuck with the CVE Tactic 3 pin. That sided in super easy. Still running the Hamski Hybrid Hunter Rest. I do have that tuned up to shooting a perfect bullet hole. That's fantastic. Running the CBE Torque Stabilizer System, uh, which is the best uh, mass-produced stabilizer personally uh, that I've ever used or come across. Also, it's really nice. I completely forgot to check this when I first uh, set up the bow, but the Pine Ridge Quick Stand does work on this super wide limb base. Some other manufacturers, because of the super wide limb base and the way that their limb pocket is designed, they don't allow a quick stand like this to fit. It actually goes too far back and the bow ends up tipping too far backwards uh, because you have to move the quick stand so far down the limbs towards the axles because the pocket is so long. Both uh, the Athens in front and behind the limb rocker is wide open. And so I can actually set the uh, jaws of this quick stand to fit. And so I can use this bow effectively uh, with this style of quick stand that I already own uh, for the 3D course. If you follow the channel, you know I like running something like a Magnus Bow Pod that goes right into the stabilizer system, but that is not legal uh, for competition shoots because it's an extra stabilizer that you're not allowed to have, uh, in particular in the bow hunter class, which is what I shoot. I've added a little bit of athletic tape to the shelf to deaden any arrow noise. I don't like running the cage on my ham ski, uh, so my arrow flops around from time to time, but that's just personal preference. I have officially tied the peep in. I have gone to a 3 uh, inch uh, Z38 peep from Pine Ridge. It's working out really well. And probably the biggest change on the cams, I have set the draw length to 30 and a half inches based on the module. Uh, but with that, and actually putting on the draw board, 30 and a half with the 80% let off, I'm getting about 30 and three quarter inches of draw length. So it's a little bit on the long side, but it's just like the perfect fit for me. Um, I like shooting in that 31 inch land. I've shot bows up to 31 and a half, just depending on how they feel for me. Just the way this bow is axle to axle with the oversized cams, the string angle and everything else at full draw. I can't stress it enough having a bow that has a rotating module and in particular one then that has adjustable let off. So you're able to really micro tune that draw length. But it took two seconds to loosen up the torque screw, slide it over to the next uh, notch and tighten them down and try it again. So having a bow with a rotating module like this, I can't overstress it enough. I can't oversimplify it enough. Get a bow with a rotating module. I don't care if you're spending $1,000. The MSRP on this Athens is $1,099 but that's for a litany of all the color options combined. I'll do the math here on the screen for you. It's just a superb purchase. There are a lot of bow companies that charge you extra for solid colored risers, which are a big hot ticket item. Recently, the past five, six years, they're charging you for the upgraded limbs, for Kuyu, Sitka, that type of stuff. 
That is not the case with Athens. There's just so many good positive things about this bow as somebody like me who has a home shop, being you at home, if you don't have a home shop, the ability to play around with your draw length, your let off, and really find the right fit for you with the bow. But anyways, that's my first week-long review, if you will, of the Athens Vista 35. If you subscribe and follow the channel, you're going to be seeing a lot of this bow coming up in the late 2021 into the 2022 season, all spring and summer 3D, getting ready for next archery season come October, November of 2022. But until that time, I hope you are able to get outside. Enjoy the sport of archery, archery hunting if you so choose. Definitely enjoy God's beautiful creation, and we'll get to see you next time.